Now this is tape number nine or part nine. Welcome to Video School CCTV. If you've been following along, guys, I'm looking for some music. Um, I could do close encounter music. <laughs> I get so nailed on that. I think I will. No, I don't want to do it. Um, just gotta pick something. Let's go by length. I want something about six minutes. Okay, so we're gonna make this a worship video, I guess. I hope you guys have been hearing okay. Only one minute, no sound. But anyways, we're we're creating another video. What we just made. We just loaded up a song, and uh, and so we're gonna look at your stock down here. Let me turn this off. Are you listening to that, Don? Are you listening to that news? I don't want to listen to it. Anyways, here's your stock right here, and uh, it sunsets, and then the light happens. This is just one part of it. So we're going to go ahead and lay this out. Now, as you're laying this out, you got to remember to leave enough room. And you got six minutes, so you don't want to. We got a lot of pitches to go through. So I'm gonna start doing some some quick time lapse of those clouds right there. You see those little clouds? It'll actually make them move better if I bring them closer together. Into that full bloom. Right there. It's pretty intense uh, footage there. Yeah. Now see this piece right here, really belongs in there, so you don't pay attention. So I'm looking at the color of the water, making sure I get all the pieces in the right spot. Okay, so here look at the sun's going down. You could do some serious manipulation with this tool. It's kind of fun. Um, how your how your video just comes along, you know, how it develops. Um, I'm gonna insert these pieces because they're still lit. Actually, I'm. Uh, once you put them in, they're hard to get out, so don't put them in. This might not let us go to the end, guys. This might have to do some manipulating of all the footage. I don't know if I'm up to my quantity. No, not yet. I hope it lets me put this one in. It does, so... I'm going to do some adjustments. So what you do is you hit this little arrow right here and it spreads all your video on your play line out. So here's a, here's my first piece. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a different way of editing too. I'm going to make the first animator length to be 6 seconds. And then to overlapped. And then the time it comes out, as soon as the video starts, fade. And I think I'll try a windmill or... Let's try Bloom, yeah, to start the video out with. So, remember, you want to do a little bit, you, you got to open pretty wide, so. And then try it. Let's, let's decrease it some. Um, then we got to hit the square button. Let me just slide these in. Make it a little bit quicker and give us a little room on the end. Okay, this one will have bloom right in there, like right there. So you just shrink it down, you feel some here, and then you can see where your parts are actually at. 
So I'm going to give it a test because I don't know how fast it's going to move now. Looks like that, guys. I made it transition. And so I'm going to I'm gonna hit the square and then I'm going to slide them in. So I want my transition to be a lot better. If you know the song and you do this, you listen to the song at the highs and stuff, you can make a transition faster and longer. So you've got to get creative. This is, what, this is what you learn in my school. So I'm going to shrink the page down a little bit. I kind of know where I'm at now. Remember I said I do three or four and then I'll do a long one. Let's do a long one. And then three or four. This way you got movement. You don't overcrowd them because you won't have movement. It would just be one big old blurry video. So you want to give it a little... Okay, I'm going to do some fast ones. You got to look at the picture and see how it's growing, how the sunset's growing. See how it's growing? So I'm doing those quicker. Okay, that one's going to be a long one. Then I'll go two or three short ones. Depending on the sky, if it's pretty close to the same, like that one isn't. So I'll have it explode right there. Now you can get extensive on this where you can go in there and like this shot, let's say I want to go in there right now and uh, make this thing last six seconds fade in the end, right? And then it will just be like the other animation but it's just going to last longer and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it up let's see. so when it comes in a slower cut off that Let's go a little bit bigger. It's going to come in like huge. Okay. Look at your last picture. Now look at this new picture. And I want to move it over just a little bit. And I just eyeball this stuff. Um, and then if I like the top better, I don't want the dates on there. You kind of go up, right? Now you see you got your green from doing the water. And it really brought the colors out nice, right? Okay. You getting it? Now remember this is going to be the same. Uh, the next piece. So I'm going to blow it up. See how my water lines up. Um, I'm going to actually bring that one down because I like the top part and I like the water. I like it all. Okay, so use your imagination. <clears throat> it's only as exciting as you make it. If you don't make it exciting, then people aren't going to watch your videos. It's bad enough to be shadow banned, right? <laughs> So there we go. That was part eight. I'm going to go to part nine.